Good morning and welcome to the Tradex Foods 3-Minute Market Insight. Here's the seafood news for the week of December 16th, 2013. As the 2014 Pollock fishery approaches in Alaska and the Chinese production year winds down, it's a good time to look at what effect MSC certification of Russian Pollock will have in the market. Russia's Sea of Okots Pollock fishery was MSC certified in September of this year. The fishery is comprised of two sub-seasons, the first being January to April and the second October to December. The Okots total allowable catch for 2014 is set at 885,000 metric tons, down 4% from the 2013 total allowable catch. The question that is, has to be asked is how will Chinese processors react to the increased availability of MSC Pollock? According to several Chinese processors we have spoke with, Alaskan Pollock is preferred. One reason processors prefer Alaskan Pollock is size. Alaskan product tends to be larger than product processed in Russia. Another reason the Chinese lean towards Alaskan Pollock is the ease of business. According to very large processors in China, Russian trade is complicated and at times Russian companies are challenging to work with. Despite there being a clear preference for Alaskan Pollock, Russian MSC fish is likely to put pressure on USA processors to remain price competitive. Alaska Pollock is expected to get approximately 100 per metric ton more than comparable Russian fish. If the price gap is greater than 100, Chinese buyers have indicated that they will take Russian products for their MSC needs. Currently, with very little USA products on the market, Russian products have been filling the pipeline in China. Prices have been 1600 to 1650 per metric ton in recent weeks and are trending upwards. Parcels of larger product have been offered at up to 1800 US per metric ton. A $100 per metric ton rise in raw material cost increases fillet prices by approximately 10 cents a pound. So if prices do reach 1800 per metric ton, fillet prices could increase up to 15 cents per pound. Processors fill prices will fall in line again after Chinese New Year when Alaskan Pollock production begins again. In other news, the North Pacific Fishery Management Council has recommended the acceptable, acceptab, acceptable biological catch for both the Bering Sea Aleutian Island and Gulf of Alaska 2014 cod fisheries. The Bering Sea and Aleutian Islands ABC is expected to drop 12% from 307,000 to 220, 100 metric tons, while the Gulf of Alaska catch limit is set to increase by 8,000 a metric ton. One processor we spoke with did say that a drop in catch limits may be in order as their boats reported difficulty in locating fish at the end of the 2013 fishery. An official quota will be announced prior to the 2014 based on recommendations of the NPFMC. Processors are already preparing for ground price increases based on discussions with the fishermen. Expect cod prices to rise on both H&G and fillets. My recommendation would be buy now as you won't, you won't see new production fillets until March. Lastly, since accepting suggestions through the web chat feature on our website, we have received some quite great questions. Out of Alaska, Luke F. asks, We've been hearing a lot of discussion about lower prices for wild chum and pink salmon, particularly in the lower flesh quality grades, but it seems that the roll value remains strong. In the face of rising wage inflation in China, I would love to hear your thoughts on where the salmon markets are headed. Well, the chum salmon market is strong. There is a shortage of raw material and pale meat color is rising in price because of the shortage of quantity. As for the salmon roe market, we don't keep a tally on that, but I've heard that is very strong. Luke also asked, We are also hearing that there is a lot of poor quality pink salmon in the market. Would be especially interested to hear your take on how the product is being absorbed into the market and what it means for buyers slash sellers. Poor quality material from USA and from China is, so is, is in the market and it will slowly be absorbed into production. So be wary of all purchases. As far as who it's being sold to, it's not being sold to Tradex, we know that for sure. However, people are unwittingly getting the product. Luke's last question on, was on halibut. The IPHC recently announced its Blue Line recommendation for the 2014 season 
and they suggest a significant drop in supply. Any thoughts or observations on that market would also be appreciated. If the IPHC reduces the quota again, the price is going to skyrocket and probably push the product right out of the market. Customers might start looking for alternatives, which would be hake or cod. If you have any suggestions on topics you'd like to hear on upcoming 3-Minute Market Insights, go to our web and let us know through our web chat feature. Thank you for joining me for the Tradex Foods 3-Minute Market Insight. This is Robert Ryerson. Buy smart and eat more seafood.